This is the Garden Minute brought to you by Swedish Covenant Hospital. Hi, I'm Lamanda Joy, founder of Peterson Garden Project, and today we're going to talk about cut and come again cutting for larger plants. So you'll notice this is a little kale patch here in one of our grow to give beds. And they've been harvesting this kale with the uh, cut and come again method. So you'll notice that they've just been trimming it as the plant grows. It kind of makes these funny little kale trees. But what that means is instead of pulling out the entire plant, it keeps producing all season long. So here's one over here that they haven't uh, trimmed lately. So I'm just gonna show you how you do that. You find the, the stalk, of course, and then you just go in and tr trim these off in this case, I'm gonna get in there and trim this little piece off as close to the stalk as you can get. And then that gives you a little bunch. Now it's not always coming off in a little bunch like this. Sometimes it'll come off in a single leaf. So let me show you here. So again, I'm just gonna go in with my sharp little snippers and I'm gonna cut as close to the stalk as I can get. And then this plant, it gives me a single leaf, but this plant's gonna con continue growing as you can see that it's doing here. So cut and come again is a great way to get a lot out of your produce. So think about, think about that before you're ready to yank a plant. There might be another way to do it that's going to be more helpful to you. This has been the Garden Minute. Special thanks to the Chicago Flower and Garden Show, Swedish Covenant Hospital, and Production One Media.